Hi, Rich Caruba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about a term that we hear pretty regularly at the bowling lanes, around the pro shop, in bowling circles, and that's called angle of entry. And what that refers to is the angle that your bowling ball enters the pocket and impact with the pins. Now, you know, the, let's, let's clarify a couple things first. The United States Bowling Congress, USBC, uh, being the governing body for the rules and regulations of the sport, has publicized uh, that a pocket strike occurs at the 17 or 18 board uh, on the lane, from the edge of the lane in toward the center of the lane. And remember, the center lane is 20 board. Uh, regardless if you're left-handed or right-handed, it depends on what side of the head pin you enter. And the angle of entry is between 4 to 6 degrees, typically, for most players. They've also gone and said that 6 degrees is a strong angle of entry, and it, 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 it really enhances pin carry and risks, uh, uh, you know, and, and you, you, you can leave fewer corner pins, and you'll get better pin action if you get a fairly strong angle of entry. But we can debate if 6 degrees is, is better than 5.5 or 5, but between 4 and 6 is the typical angle of entry for most of you bowlers watching this video. A weaker angle of entry can still produce a lot of good pin carry, can still carry strikes like a 4 degree angle of entry. And that's for bowlers who then have a sharp angle of entry or choose a bowling ball or, or play on a lane condition or with your particular delivery style that doesn't allow a strong angle of entry. Equating pin carry to angle of entry, therefore, is not a precise science. So don't get too caught up in it. Just understand it's a, a generalized term, and it varies from bowler to bowler. Four to six degrees isn't very much, and it's measured from the point the ball makes a, a, a change into the final roll phase of the ball from the break point to the pocket compared to the parallel lines of the boards on the lane. Now, the three phases generally of overall ball motion are the skid phase in the front, the hook phase in the mid lane, and then the roll phase on the back end. So between 4 and 6 degrees angle of entry would be, would be an ideal and optimum pin carry on a given night. A 5 degree angle of entry just might be the perfect angle of entry on most house conditions, the conditions you bowl on the USBC red pattern, which is a general pattern generally with a lot more oil in the center lanes than toward the edges of the lanes. And those are the, uh, typically where you get the highest scores because you hit the pocket more frequently and the lane helps the ball hook back to the pocket giving you sufficient angle of entry to carry the pin real, uh, pins good. And when you have a good angle of entry, when your ball hits the pocket, it's going to hit the 5 pin for your right handers. It'll continue into the 9 pin, possibly the 8 and 9 pin. Uh, you get all those center pins out, uh, contacting at least 4 pins with the bowling ball. Uh, and uh, it makes for more consistent pin carry. And for left-handers, the, the 1, 5, and possibly the 8-pin, uh, or 8 and 9-pin as well. Now, you in-between players, we call them tweeners, uh, not power players, not complete soft strokers with a very mild hit, uh, hook, you'll get between 4 and 5, uh, say closer to 4, 5-degree uh, angle of entry, and usually that's going to give you very good pin carry. Power players, you get closer to 6, or you are at 6-degree angle of entry, and you strokers may be closer to 4. So from the spectrums of the wide ranges, discounting uh, straight ball players who might only get 2 or 3 angle of entry, depending on how much angle they release the ball toward the pocket, or you super power players that hook the ball ridiculous amounts on the lane might get a more than 6 uh, degrees angle of entry, but basically all of you people are going to be between 4 and 6, sufficient angle of entry to be very effective. The key is to hit the pocket as often as you can, let the bowling ball dynamics do the work for you. The amount of flare potential, the, the higher the flare potential, the more the angle of entry you'll get. Uh, the way the ball's drilling layout is can augment that as well, and of course your delivery style. So if you want more information about angle of entry and what you can do to either increase it or decrease it depending on the lane conditions, I'd work with your pro shop professional, discuss what you need, have them look at your bowling ball equipment, the way it's drilled, the, the drilling patterns, the way the balls are drilled, the type of ball construction it is. You can alter the surface a little bit to increase or decrease skid length and, of course, uh, then affect the back end motion of the ball. All those things are available to you if you get into the pro shop and check with your pro shop professional. Hope some of this information helps you understand angle of entry. Thank you.